Hello, what's up guys? I am Ashraf from TechSense. In this video, I am going to explain what is a hybrid drive. So guys, let's get started. Has there a better time to build your own custom PC? But there is still something special, it's true, when it comes to choosing PC components. A storage drive is the most important part of your PC. PC builders find it very difficult to choose the best storage drive for them. There are two opposite choices for storage. One is great for its speed and another one is great for its capacity. So you should go for the speed or you should go for the higher capacity. On a ATX PC case there should be enough room for a SSD and a HDD. But if you are a laptop user and you want the speed of SSD and want more capacity then the SSD or solid state hybrid drive is the right choice for you. Don't think it's a genetically modified crop that grows on trees. Theoretically it is modified, it, it contains both the NAND flash and the controller that you will find in a SSD and the spinning flutter of an HDD. It might look similar to the regular hard disk drive. It comes both in 2.5 inch and 3.5 inch form factor. The SSD connects to your motherboard through a single SATA cable. It appears to your OS in just one drive rather than two separate drives because inside a SSD a controller controls the both NAND flash and the spinning platters. The controller also controlled which data will go to the SSD and which data should go to the SDT. After a certain amount of time the drive will learn which files are accessed more frequently and which are not. In this operation there is no need an user input. The firmware of SSD will do it automatically. Typically, a SSD comes with a 32 GB of flash storage. A SSD will not give you the speed of an SSD, but it can give you more faster speed than an ordinary HDD. So, if you need cheap, faster storage and higher capacity, you should go for a SSD. But if you need really the fastest performance, you should probably buy a SSD. I hope you learned something from my video. If you learned something from my video then hit that like button and if you didn't subscribe yet get subscribed.